Kepler. Peter Siddle. I don't know if that bloke there saw the pair he had on today. So, let me get a shot of the umpire there. Have we seen the arms winding, or are they still holding on to this power surge? It would appear that they're still holding on to it. Wow. No, uh, no, they're not. They mustn't be. Taking it. Yep. They're taking it. Oh, no. That is stiff. It's come off the pads and cannon into the leg stump. Yeah, it is stiff, but it's also good bowling from Peter Siddle out the side of the hand. Came down on the left-hand side of the ball and just angled towards the leg side, not offering Matt Wright any room. The fact that it hit his pad and ricocheted off onto the stumps is a, a little bit of bad luck, but as I said, very good bowling by the veteran Peter Siddle. So good in this format. And Matt Wright, the X Factor, is gone. Six for one, two nine. Just keep taking wickets in this power surge. It's amazing. So it's come to the next over. It's not the power play. It's not a power play. No. This is club he's at, isn't it? Yeah. It's not the power play. He never asked. So him. here we go. This is interesting. We said we didn't see any movement from the umpire that suggested the power play. Paul Wilson's just walked in and said to James Faulkner, it is not the power play. After Alex Carey came up and said, no, we didn't ask for it. So, Well, the interesting thing there is that the batters obviously knew it wasn't because they had got to tell the umpires. And then he's noticed... He's noticed the all the field and thought, what's going on here? We haven't called it. They brought all their fielders in. That's bizarre. It is. And then you heard Alex Carey say, well, just aggressive captaincy. <laughs> it, totally worked. Worked. it worked. It worked. Confusion <laughs> reigns. The <laughs> genius, yeah. Alex Carey. All right, so it's going to be the final two overs of the innings that it's uh, going to be the power surge. So I can imagine that the field will go back out. I wonder what would have happened there if they didn't get a wicket. They would have continued on with the field in. It's a Jaffa as well. That's seen. It's been a bit there all night, hasn't there? A bit of extra bounce, a little bit of seam. <laughs> There's the lads. A couple of Danny Nong boys made their way down to the system, JB. I think that might be some local influence. Certainly the nearest to Sid's. <laughs> Maui boy, isn't he? Sorry, yes. I was talking about Pato. <laughs> I got him confused yeah, there. Did. <laughs> no! Well, Pato's heading out in that direction, just yeah. not as far. Yeah, yeah. Two peas out of the same pot. Played for Dandenong, both of them in the district comp. Imagine 10 years ago, Bluey, wandering up to play a district game. In